what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this 3d money effect inside of after effects now for this effect you guys are gonna need this money effects pack from cine packs i will have a link down in the description below where you can go ahead and download this pack there is a free pack as well but i'm not really sure if it includes the overlays and effects that i actually am going to be using in this video so you can try out this free pack but i would highly recommend going over here and just grabbing the money effects pack and if you want you can use code tylo effects at checkout to save you some money but once you get that downloaded you'll get these three folders here and inside each folder has different money overlays so in this first one here we have the 3d money rain and i really like all of these ones and i'm assuming that these ones aren't actually included in the free pack so uh you will have to have the full version for this as you can see they're all transparent which is super nice super easy to use in pretty much any program um but i'm going to be using after effects for this tutorial so yeah there's tons of different effects here they even got transitions that you can use I think some of these look super cool. I really like that kind of stop motion effect. So really fun to play around with in your videos. Now, before we go ahead and add our 3D money, we're gonna wanna go ahead and rotoscope out our subject. And for this first shot here, I'm just gonna be rotoscoping out a car. So let's go up to the roto brush and select that layer and make an outline around the car here. So now that I have an outline for my first frame, I can just go frame by frame, fixing up the roto brush as I go along here, but it's looking pretty good. So I don't have to do any adjustments here. And once you're done rotoscoping every frame, you can just go here to the freeze and click that so it'll freeze your rotor brush all right so that just got done freezing so we can go back into our main composition here and we just want to go ahead and duplicate this layer i'm going to hit Control d duplicate that and then on the bottom layer we're going to go ahead and delete our rotor brush there now back inside the overlays here i'm just going to drag on this money rain three right here into our composition i'm just going to bring this below our two layers like that so it's in the middle and then we can scale this down around 50 percent like that and i'm going to move this layer right here to kind of start towards the end of the clip and then i'm going to bring one more effect onto this the 3d blue hundred three right here we're going to try this one out and we're going to put this on top of our layers just kind of in the foreground there now if you want to match the color of the money towards the background a little bit more you can bring on an effect called cc toner and what we can do here is select the highlights in the footage with using this like a little eyedropper here so that's like the brightest part of the footage right there and then the mid tones kind of like a kind of mid toned area here in the footage and then we're going to go to the shadows and pick like a dark spot right here on the car and then the blend with original right here we can just move this percentage around to get like a more realistic look with this effect so somewhere around 30 percent looks good so as you can see when i toggle it on and off it kind of just matches the footage a little bit better so what you can do is just copy that effect and put it onto your other money effects that you have in that clip and there we go that looks super cool all right so now i'm going to be doing a 3d effect but with a person here instead of a car so i'm just going to bring on a different 3d like money rain effect here i'm going to try out this 3d blue hundred effect right here so let's bring it into our timeline and i already have this uh footage row scoped out so i'm just going to bring this in between my two clips here and then scale down the footage once again that already looks super cool i really like how that looks on this clip right here but as you can see the footage is black and white so the money just stands out and doesn't really match the clip so what i'm going to go ahead and do is just add some tint onto that drag that on there now it's just black and white and as you can see it just matches the footage already just like that so pretty simple and that already looks super cool now i'm going to try and add a transition from this car clip onto this juice world clip right here so so i'm going to bring on this money wipe right here and align it with our two clips and then i'm going to scale it down move it around like this and then we can go ahead and add more money wipes it doesn't have to be just one so we can like kind of layer them once again i'm just going to line it up to the uh, two clips there now when we play that back you can see the transition is super smooth i really like how those money wipes look and if you don't like the money wipes you can always go into here to the uh, other folders and use these like money rips here i'm going to bring on this 50 dollar rip right here and we're going to do the same thing where we line it up make sure that you don't see the footage all right so that's pretty lined up i'm going to scale it down just a little bit like that now when we play this back we now have this transition instead, which looks super cool. And if you want, you can speed it up by just changing the time here. So if we make this like 70, then it'll be faster, but we're just gonna have to realign that up. There we go. Super simple, super easy effects to add to your videos. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. And once again, these packs will be linked down in the description below. So make sure to go check those out. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.